Boyfriend dislikes it when I critique unnecessary fanservice in media. Me, 18, and my boyfriend, 19, love to review and critique movies and shows together it's one of our favorite hobbies. However, he likes and even loves several shows with unnecessary fanservice or female characters who are disproportionately treated poorly, specifically anime. I will point these things out because it makes me deeply uncomfortable but he will either shut down or get defensive. It's really upsetting because I try to explain to him how it's incredibly sexist and objectifying for these writers to portray these things so shamelessly. He seems to get so uncomfortable whenever I bring this up and it seems like he doesn't want to confront it. I don't think he truly understands that constant sexism and objectification is a part of my daily life and something I experience all the time. It's not some political talk I enjoy debating about. It's a part of my life as a woman. It makes me deeply uncomfortable how quickly he will dismiss these things in the media he enjoys. I'm not sure if this is something I should worry about as much as I do. TLDR Boyfriend gets defensive whenever I point out how bad sexism is in a lot of the media he consumes. As an female anime fan, the portrayal of women in many popular shows can be really maddening. It can definitely take away from the viewing's experience. My husband and I will discuss this and other issues in depictions of media we watch. It's actually become part of the fun to share our opinions. Unnecessary panty shots of underage girls drives me up the wall. I don't want to see that. It ruins animes for me when I realize they're just socially acceptable fetish content. Honestly I totally get it. I used to really like anime when I was younger until I realized how annoying they made most of the girls and the fanservice was out of control. Huge turn off for me. If my BF and I watch anime together we tend to stick to the more funny, serious ones that aren't sexist. My wife and I enjoy watching anime together. But we both have a strong distaste for fanservice. It can be hard to separate sometimes and can ruin what you thought was going to be a good show. Luckily there's plenty of good anime shows out there without it and I feel like animation studios are finally starting to understand that there's a big untapped market for women so I've noticed a lot of positive changes in more recent writing. My recommendation would be to steer more towards slice of life types of shows. I think a good example I saw recently was the Spy X Family Show which is a good mix of slice of life, humor, and action. You can never go wrong with Miyazaki or Makoto Shinkai films they are simply magical and are what I prefer people to think of when they think of anime. With all that said, I do have some friends that do enjoy a wider variety of anime and I don't think it's my place to question them on their preferences. However, my personal feeling is that pretending that that fan service is okay is not justified. I think as others said, you can enjoy a show while still recognizing the problems and discussing them together. I don't think it's right for your BF to shut down your opinions on that. He's lucky to have a companion that is willing to share one of his interests with him and I think he should make more of an effort to accommodate your preferences with his own. So trying to see from his perspective, I think you should make it clear you're criticizing the show and not him. I think he's getting defensive because you're criticizing a show that he likes. And sometimes people who are passionate enough about certain media will absorb it into their identity. Therefore when you criticize it, he might get defensive because he sees it as a critique of him and his own morality because he enjoys the show. I think it's worth sitting down and just talking it through. You should ask him why he feels angry when you talk about this stuff. And make sure you listen and try to appreciate his view rather than fully understand it. Additionally, you should explain your side that you are critiquing things you find offensive as a woman. 
And while he doesn't need to fully understand it he should try to see it from your point of view. You are both young and he is probably being confronted with a reality he doesn't want to expose as his own because it affects someone you he cares about. You are more aware of the transgressions because they are directly related to how you are treated or feel you are by society in everyday life. To him, it's just anime. It isn't real. Don't let him make you apologize for his discomfort. I love anime. I watch it all the time as a 20s woman. I, however, dislike anime I consider sexist. I don't care about the clothes as long as her personality isn't. Girl, I'm okay with scantily clad women if they make her a genuine character. If she has personality and is more than just tits. It's well written enough for me. Examples of strong female characters I love would be the protagonist of Horizon. Zero Dawn. The girls of Madoka Magica. The Promised Neverland. Emma. Agrestuko. Retsuko. Violet Evergarden. Violet. Darling in the Franks. Zero Two. And Fruits Basket. Toru. Some of these examples have portrayed these women in sexual ways. But the women are integral to the story and regarded as more than fanservice. They are well written with their own personalities. Most of the anime I listed is rather popular and well known. It honestly sounds like your boyfriend just watches sexist anime. I like the original Star Trek series but laugh at the ridiculous sexism. I enjoy debating about. It sounds like this isn't something he enjoys doing for those particular shows. He wants to like the things he likes and not reflect on the problematic elements. If this is something you think is important for a boyfriend of yours to do, then you may want to reconsider the relationship. If you want to stay in the relationship you may have to let him just enjoy the things he enjoys. Without the two of you discussing those particular shows, up to you if this is a fight worth having. I pointed it out to my BF. It's gross how objectifying anime is. Specifically, big bouncing breasts on a 14-16 year old girl is somehow normal and cute. God no. You can be totally correct about sexism in media while you're both watching Iron Man 2 and also be annoying at the same time. What is your goal in pointing it out? Are you trying to get him to stop watching it or just want to talk about it? Either way it sounds like you might not be the best match for each other. I'll be honest, you both sound kinda annoying. It's normalized and so common. I think it goes without saying that women can identify the problem before men can and also understand it better rather than understanding it from a perspective that still consumes media that's hyper-sexualizing women. FFS it's everywhere and it's in everything. Because sex has appeal and it sells. And a less relevant fact is that these things were initially created for the male gaze. And normalized is what we produce for consumption now and evolved from that. Something that's aimed for the male gaze. He could be mad for a few reasons such as but not limited to. 1. He agrees with the behavior or it goes against his belief in some way. Point 2. He sees it as an attack on something he loves. Anime. Point 3. He feels like the sexism argument is some way an attack on men. Since he's a man he attributes this to an attack on him. If him watching something makes you uncomfortable and he will not change his behavior despite your repeated requests, maybe you should just move on. Sorry but if people criticize every single thing like that and make it seem like it's a bad thing, even, it gets annoying really fast. I don't blame him. I mean, is he mimicking these behaviors? There are people who can distinguish fantasy from reality. I love and think degrading femdom porn is hilarious. But I'm not out here treating my boyfriend like it that. 
If you don't like it, all you have to do is find something else to do while he's watching it. Going off your comment I saw, bluntly tell him to stop showing you these shows if he doesn't want to hear your opinion on it in the first place. That's simple. But honestly it seems you have a bigger problem than just that with this content. If you feel that uncomfortable and wish he would stop watching anime entirely and he's not willing to do that then you both might not be compatible. Find someone who cares about the same values in their media as you do. Don't listen to the people here trying to equate your boyfriend talking down on your personal interests to you pointing out the fact that the anime media industry does indeed have a problem with fan service specifically the of sexualization women most commonly but not only high school aged girls that makes it difficult for women to stay interested in this specific media industry me included you are right that as a woman facing this every day makes it difficult to stay interested in anime I myself haven't watched much anime due to the sheer saturation and I'm well aware it isn't just us. Your boyfriend is immature and likely isn't ready to be in a more stimulating relationship. If you can't have conversations like this and these are something you want in a relationship that's totally valid to desire. Me and my partner love anime and shows still but we also always critique stuff that can be off putting or even problematic in a show even if we enjoy it and it adds a rich fun dynamic to our relationship i wouldn't give up for the world if you want that then maybe this relationship has simply run its course if you enjoyed this video please check out our playlists full of similar content epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears please like share and subscribe